I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Win Wednesday. What are you going to do today, Woodrow? Thursday, June 11. Phase 1. Student drop-off only. Friday, June 12th. Phase 2. Student drop-off and building access to collect belongings. All 6th and 7th graders, please be sure to check the Phase 1 and Phase 2 appointment chart. When you come to school for student closeout and you enter on Woodrow Wilson Drive, please stop at the top of the drive for Mr. John, the security guard. We will be checking that you have your name placard ready to go so that we can identify you when you drop off all your items. Once we check you off, you'll be able to proceed to the front of the building. Here at Station 1, you'll be able to drop off any of your English teacher's books or library books. Just make sure you find the box labeled with their name. At the second station, you'll be able to drop off any textbooks. There will be pallets here for you to do so. Next, for 8th graders, you have to return your Chromebook and your Chromebook charger. This will be done outside the cafeteria. You are going to turn in your Chromebook charger and then place your Chromebook in the cart. Once you enter the building, there will be hand sanitizers at every station so you'll be able to properly sanitize your hands. 8th graders, you also will have to return your lock and your ID. You're going to find the box with your homeroom in it and return those items. Don't worry if you forgot your combo, they'll be posted on the wall. Also, you'll notice 6th and 7th and 8th graders, when you enter the building, you are going to follow a one-way walking pattern. So follow the arrows on the floor and they'll take you about the building to be able to collect your belongings. And then finally, when you're getting ready to leave, don't forget the hand sanitizer again. We'll see you later this week, Woodrow. Good morning, Woodrow. This week we begin student closeout. Thursday, June 11th is for drop-off only. Friday, June 12th will be for any 6th or 7th graders that need to drop off and come into the building to collect belongings. Next Monday and Tuesday will be phase three for eighth graders. But today I wanted to talk about a few pointers and tips for when you come to the building. First, for every book that you're going to return, whether it's a textbook, an ELA novel, or a library book, you need to have filled out one of these forms. You have these forms linked into your parent letters that they've received about closeout, but it's also linked into the PowerPoint that has been sent to you twice now. You need to fill out this form and you need to place it inside the book so that when you come to drop the book off, the form is inside and we know who the book belongs to. Do not tape the form to any of your books. Sixth and seventh graders, you will be keeping your Chromebooks for the summer. So do not bring them to school with you on Thursday or Friday. Eighth graders, we are collecting your Chromebooks. So, few reminders for you. One, your Chromebook needs to be fully charged when you return it. Two, don't forget your chargers. These are very expensive and you don't want to be put on the fines list because you leave this at home. And last, you need to fill out this form. It is on our website, but it is also in the PowerPoint that has been sent to you twice, 
and it is also linked to the parent letter that your parents have. This is the Chromebook inspection form. You are going to self-assess your Chromebook. You are going to place this form, either tape it, you can tape this one, onto the Chromebook, or you can place the form inside so that we know whose Chromebook it is. You do not want to be pay placed on the fines list for a Chromebook. These are $225. Or a charger, this is $45 if you do not return them. When you come to Woodrow Wilson on Thursday, Friday, Monday, or Tuesday, you need to make sure that you have a name placard. This placard needs to be filled out so that we can read who you are. When you drive up, to Woodrow Wilson, this placard should be in your passenger side window so that when you return your items, the teacher that is at that station can clearly read who you are and mark off that you're returning the items that we expect back to the school. Everyone will be wearing masks, so it's very hard to communicate your name. It is easier to read, so these are extremely important. Sixth and seventh graders who are entering the building on Friday, June 12th, and eighth graders who are entering the building on Monday, June 15th, and Tuesday, June 16th, what you need to do is once you do your drop-offs outside, you need to take your placard with you as you enter the building because there will be stations inside the building. And again, everyone will be wearing the masks. So if you carry your name placard with you, it will be very easy for the teachers at the stations to read who you are and mark you off the list. We don't want to make any mistakes, so this is extremely important that you fill this out. If you don't have a name placard, it was linked to the PowerPoint, it was also linked to the letters that your parents have, you can always make your own. Just make sure that we can read it. And the last thing for eighth graders, you need to return your school ID. So when you come to school on Monday or Tuesday, make sure you have your school, your Woodrow Wilson Middle School ID with you. You are going to get another ID at J.P. Stevens next year. So you need to have this with you and you'll return it when you come to the school. Sixth and seventh graders, you will be keeping your ID and we will see you back next year. Congratulations to Nitty Patel and Miss Sedler, who correctly guess Miss Columbus and Miss Felipe. This teacher played baseball and ran track, and he loved 80s hair bands, and he still had some. This teacher loved a good perm. Hey guys, it's Mr. Campione. I just want to wish all the graduating 8th graders nothing but success in high school. I know this isn't the way we intended for it to end, but uh, nonetheless, you've done great this year and I wish you all the best. And for all of my students, my 6th graders uh, and my former students in 7th grade, uh, we made it through this. It's been great, uh, a great challenge, but you guys did great and hopefully we will all see each other again very, very soon. Enjoy your summer, everyone. Woodrow, it's Mrs. Yasko. I just wanted to send a quick goodbye out to all of our eighth graders moving on to high school. Good luck. I wish you the best of times. I know you're going to go off to do great things. And to my sixth graders, I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you again. Um, I know the year did not turn out the way that we wanted, um, but we made it through. And so for everyone, just have a great summer. Enjoy, stay healthy and safe, and hopefully we'll be back in September. See ya. Hey guys, Mr. G here, slash Coach G. Uh, just want to do a quick happy summer to all of you, especially to my 7th graders who I taught in the English classroom this year. Definitely missed you these last few months. Hope you learned something in the class and had some fun this year. Uh, expect to see you stopping by in the fall, definitely, I hope. To my 8th graders, especially the, um, the ones, the girls who I coach in soccer and basketball, um, again, let's keep that mentality all out, all in, and 
get up to JP there with hearts on fire and do what you guys know how to do. Be strong in the classroom and on the field and on the courts. And above all, when you get a chance to help someone, help someone out. You guys have done a great job with that all throughout your careers. Miss you, love you, and above all, have a great summer as things begin to open up. Hit those beaches. Have a blast. Love you guys. Hey, 8th graders. I am wishing you guys so much luck as you embark on your next journey uh, in life. And just know that Woodrow Wilson will miss you, and we know that you're going to come and visit us as soon as we can all get back in the buildings together. Have a great summer. To all the eighth graders, congrats on a well-deserved and interesting journey you took to get here. Think back to the first day at Woodrow Wilson Middle School, all the emotions and feelings, and especially all the memories and friends you made along the way. Don't be strangers, keep in touch and cherish each precious day. To all the sixth and seventh graders, enjoy the summer and you all really, really rocked remote learning. Good morning, Woodrow Wilson. I just wanted to wish all of my eighth graders a happy summer and best of luck going into high school and to my sixth grade class. You were super fun. I look forward to seeing you in the hallways next year.